documentary is to trace my evolution or make an analysis of how I turned out to be an abstract painter. To do this, I have to go back in time. I am born in the lagoon town of Alway in India. Later, after a few years, my parents shifted to Cannonall, where I went to St. Michael's. And uh, St. Michael's was at close proximity to a cliff and the sea coast of Cannonall. Often after the school bell was done for the day, I walked by the sea coast until dusk. And uh, as monstrous waves dashed about the massive rocks at the cliff, a bizarre feeling of being all alone in a space that was never ending, and this made me see the seascapes as if the surrealists would in a subconscious state of mind. And it was here that I started to draw and to paint. I started as a landscape artist in the early 60s but with a difference. My landscapes were mindscapes. <laughs> though I prefer to be a painter of graveyards, necropolis, gravestones, and so on. In 1977, I received a state award from the Directorate of Archaeology and Museums in Karnataka for my work entitled The Abode of the Dead. But in 1982, five years later, I visited London to show my works at the Bradshaw Room, the Mall Gallery's Administration Federation of British Artists in London. During which time I visited the Royal Academy and happened to see the works of Bhupan Karkar, Vivan Sundram, Sudhir Patwardhan and so on, the ideologists from Baroda. I got much inspired by their works, the social narratives. After nearly 10 years of painting figurative abstractions, I don't want to paint social narratives anymore. 
this is the state of mind when I become eclectic. I am like in a tranquil universe, a cosmic anomaly. I now feel a sensitivity towards abstraction and I hibernate for quite some time. And in a subconscious state of mind, I see these dwellings, the dwellings that become the shelter spaces. That's my topic. And the shelter spaces later give way to geometrical abstractions. And about my sensitivity towards abstraction, I will speak about it later. You see, my words were very eclectic, over which I had no control. And uh, maybe I was totally unconscious to it until recently. I am 24 years probably and during this time I got this book on abstract painting by Michael Sufer. A 50 years of accomplishment from Kandinsky to the present. I am too early to paint abstracts and uh, Though I got much inspired by this book and it was a kind of vision for me to end up as an abstract painter. And that's the reason I keep saying that I get the sensation of uh, painting abstracts or a feel towards abstraction. That happened to me in between several times because that's the done thing for me, like I wanted to be an abstract painter but had to go through a journey. 
And though this book uh, was a vision for me, it had nothing to do with what I did in the end. And uh, my abstractions were totally a detour from whatever was happening. I ended up painting a topic which were my abstractions, the stellar memories. Well, the hardest part for an abstract painter is to handle a massive canvas where size does matter, probably to the viewer or the patron, but not to the artist. And what matters to the artist is the space. What is he going to do with that space, the given space? I have featured some of my works out of the hundreds of works that I did in Mumbai. A hundred which were exhibited at the Pandol Art Gallery in 2006. What I learned at the end of the show was that the space was what mattered. But in the end I realized that uh, it's not what you fill in in that large space, but what matters is what you want to fill in in that massive space. I think I am not articulate enough to explain my situation. Apparently it seems like I am unable to come to terms with my abstract painting, the ones that you just viewed on the documentary. The probability is that I am not convinced with the application on the space the method of uh, working it's too crowded and it lacks the spirit of boldness though it could be dynamic when i say boldness it's not about the color and the spirit of freedom is yet to be felt in my canvas so what do i do now i i'm not going in for the horizontal and i go for the vertical canvases and uh, I call these as uh, enigmatic staging of indistinct forms. <music>
And again, after the enigmatic staging of indistinct forms, I come a full circle back to the horizontal and work on my stellar memories. By now, I believe in something called the cellular memory, which is probably something like the time travel where one can go back in time, which is uh, possible in theory. But uh, like the grandfather's paradox, it may not be possible practically to travel backwards because uh, they haven't found a time machine as yet. So to make the theory less complicated, I have kind of uh, formulated an idea of the stellar memories. So the stellar memories could be expressed in a way that the space is filled with the matter and energy that is totally stellar. This is my point of abstraction.